In this video, we will talk about mean value theorem for integrals. The mean value theorem for integrals says, suppose f is continuous function on an interval a, b, then there is a number c in the interval a, b, so a number between a and b, such that the integral from a to b of f equals f of c times b minus a. Let's take a look at what this means. If we have a function whose graph is like this, let me first draw the graph of the function. So let's say function f has graph like this one. And our a is somewhere here and b is here. So the left side of this equation here is the area under the curve from A to B. So this area. So this is the value of integral from A to B. This area is the value of integral from A to B of the function. So now what this theorem says is you can find C between A and B such that f of c times b minus a. So let's suppose c is somewhere here. So this theorem says the area under the curve given by this integral, this indefinite integral will be f of c times b minus a. But f of c is this height times b minus a is this length. So f of c minus b minus a is simply the area of this rectangle. This rectangle. So the mean value theorem for integrals says that you can find a rectangle that is equivalent to the region under the curve between A and B in area. Let's look at this example. Let's find the values of C guaranteed by the mean value theorem for integrals for the function f of x equals square root of x over the given interval one six. Let's first draw the graph of the given function. The graph of square root of six looks like this one. Something like this f of x equals square root of x. Now we are looking at the interval 1, 6. So I'm going to say 1 is over here and 6 is over here. So we are looking at this reason, reason between 1 and 6. So the equation for the mean value theorem for inter integrals is integral from a to b, our a is 1, b is 6, and function is square root of x dx equals f of c times b minus a. b minus a is 6 minus 1. So we basically want to find c that satisfies this equation here. So this implies integral of square root of x. We can apply this formula here because square root of x is simply x to one half. I'm going to go one step further and write square root of x as x to one half before we do the integral. And f of c is square root of c because f of x is square root of x times six minus one, which is five. I'm going, just going to put five over here in the front. So now we are ready to do the integral I'm going to write it up here. So the integral will be x to one half plus one divided by one half plus one. And we want to evaluate that from one to six equals five square root of c. So now we evaluate this integral, this expression from one to six. Before that, I'm going to try to simplify this expression. So on the top, we have x to three by two, divided by in the denominator, we have three by two again. We want to evaluate that from one to six. 
we have equals five square root of C. We need more space. I'm going to erase some of this here. Okay, so we have, uh, we want to evaluate that at six first, we get six to the power three by two, and we have divided by three by two. I can just write that as two third minus, and we want to evaluate this at one now. So one to the power three by two equals five square root of C. So let's uh, simplify this a little further. We get two by three, six to the power three by two will look like, so if you want to find six to the power three by two, we can think of it as six cubed to the power one half. So six cubed to the one half, I can write this as six times six squared to the power one half. So that means six squared to the power one half is simply six. We get six square root of six over here. So it will look like times six square root of six minus one to the power three by two is simply one. So we get two by three equals five square root of C on the right side. To solve this, I can multiply both sides by one fifth because we eventually want to get the value of C. So this will give us one fifth, two third, six root six. And I could actually simplify this two third times six to be, so I can divide six by three to get two. So this will come out to be just four, four square root of six. Four square root of six minus two third equals square root of C. So from here, we can just square both sides and get the value of C. I'm going to erase this part so that we have some space to work. So this will give us C equals this whole thing is squared. One fifth, four root six, minus two by three squared. So if you like to have an approximate value, you can use your calculator. And when upon doing that, I get 3.335, rounded to three decimal places. This is the value of C that satisfies the mean value theorem for integrals. Now putting this in the graph, I would assume the value of C is somewhere around here because it's approximately 3.335, value of C is here. So this says this area under the curve between one and C is exactly the area of this rectangle that we get by drawing the height at C between one and six for this rectangle. This rectangle here. So area of this rectangle is exactly the same as area under the graph between one and six.